flea and tick prevention and what I use. Hi, my name is Haley and I'm owner of Arrowhead Bulldogs and a question that I get pretty often is what do you use for flea and tick prevention? Um, something that I have been using for years is actually brewer's yeast. Something super simple as this little fine powder that you sprinkle on your dog's food. Um, I always started using it because that's what my mom did. Um, and I just took it for the fact that she used it. I noticed it worked. Never really thought much about it. But to be able to explain it, I did some more research on it. Because I don't want to tell you, well, I just use it. That's what you should do too. Which you still should do your own research. But I use it and I have had great results with it. And the reason that they believe that it works is because it contains theamine or theamine, however you want to pronounce it. And it actually changes the taste of their, the animal's fur and their blood. So that takes care of both flea and ticks. Um, it's also a really great alternative if your dog is allergic to topical anti-flea and tick medications because we actually have a dog that will have seizures if we use topical ointments. Or if your dog is pregnant and nursing, um, you have to be really careful about what you use, whether that be you know the flea and tick collars, which have actually been, some of them have been linked to um, dogs dying. So make sure that whatever you are using, do the research on that product and see if it's something that you're okay with. Um, and always feel free to con consult your vet. But I typically try to go as natural as possible because then I don't have to worry about if they're pregnant, if they're nursing, if it's gonna cause um, my, he's actually my, our doodle to have a seizure. Um, so I just try to keep it as simple as possible and do what I can for everybody all the way across the board. Um, that's why Brewer's Yeast is my go-to. I don't typically have a preferred brand Although, this is one that I have, the Anthony's Brewer's Yeast. Um, we just got it off of Amazon. And on the back it says, please don't under look under the bag. And of course I had to look under the bag. And it says, quite the rule breaker, aren't you? We dig that. So, they might be my new favorite brand. So we'll just see how this goes. Um, the dosage, you can actually use this for dogs and cats. So, like my mom would use it for like outside stray cats or stray dogs that would come along and we were feeding them. She would just sprinkle on their food. Um, but the general rule is like one teaspoon per 10 pounds or about a tablespoon. I just eyeball it. I just sprinkle it on top of their food. You can put it on their coat. You can put it in their water. Um, another fun way is if you use coconut oil, you can actually mix your coconut oil and your brewer's yeast and put it in like those little cookie, no, those little candy molds and pop them in the fridge. Um, that just took up more time. This, I just stuff into a container, sprinkle it on their food. Um, with bulldogs though, because they do tend to inhale their food, it's usually a good idea to kind of mix it up or put something wet on top. So like we'll put like our beef strong on top of the boys. Um, we'll put maybe the cod liver oil or something to make it like tacky so it's not just super fine. It goes right into their, their airways. So that's just something simple that we do and hopefully it helps. Um, feel free to ask questions down below or if there's something else that you have found to be really beneficial for your dog's flea and ticks. Let us know.